this season, the Garfield boys are once again state contenders. UConn commit Jalen Stewart is one of 11 seniors. Uh, one of our goals is 30 assists a game. So, so we take pride in taking the ball, sharing it with each other, just making everybody better. Fellow senior Emmett Marquardt grew up watching Garfield. For me, it's, it's community, it's family. My dad went here, so it's, Garfield's has been kind of in my family. And then I've grown up four blocks away from here, so it's just kind of been something that's always been a part of me. And Emmett is not alone. My parents graduated from here, so you know, as a as a young kid, you know, my dad would bring me back to games where it was Garfield versus Franklin, and that was my true first love of like basketball. You know, it wasn't the Bulls and Michael Jordan; it was just local hoops. That's where I fell in love with basketball. Brandon Roy is one of the best players to come out of Seattle. He was the 2006 Pac-10 Player of the Year and an All-American. He was the NBA Rookie of the Year in 2007 and a three-time All-Star. Kobe Bryant called Roy the hardest player to guard in the Western Conference, but bad knees would cut his career short. In 2012, Roy called it quits after six knee surgeries. It was hard. I didn't think I would stop playing at 28. Four years later, Roy returned to the court as a high school coach. You know, my mom would always say, you know, never let your ego get too big. And when I went into coaching, she said, she, she told me, because I was like, Mom, what do you think about me coaching? You know, I was a little nervous, like, you know, I'm going from, like, this NBA guy and playing pro to, you know, people can look at it like, you're coaching high school, that's kind of a step down. And, and she said, but that's never been who you are. You know, you never looked at yourself as a pro being better than anybody else. So why not, you know, go do something that you, you want to do? He began coaching at Nathan Hill in 2017 and won a state title with an unbeaten team. I mean, that moment of winning that championship, I felt like I was a player. The following year, he moved to his alma mater and captured a championship in 2018 and then another one in 2020, something he never did as a player. But, you know, I will say after I finished up at Garfield, I wanted to, to, to make the school proud because I wasn't able to do it by, you know, crowning it with a championship. So doing it as a coach has been really fun. I'm big on, you know, coaching and practice. Um, we, we work. I talk a lot. I'm out there. You know, I'm sweating after practice. And then on game night, well, it's a much different story for Coach Roy. The biggest thing is I try to stay calm. I, I Again, I play, so I know how sometimes if a coach seems excited or a little worried, you know, that can rub off on your guys. And I try to be calm and relaxed and, and hope that rubs off on my guys. He could coach at a higher level, but Roy has found happiness at Garfield. His oldest of four is a sophomore, and he doesn't want to miss one moment as his kids chase after their dreams. When I played, even through high school, it was about me. So I told myself when I made it to the NBA that once I'm done planning the pros and I have my son um, into my rookie year, I said that I want to be a part of my kid's life. And, and, and be like my mom and dad was towards me. You know, I'm still having a great time coaching high school basketball and, and accomplishing those goals at this level, but the next level will be a, more of a, a time crunch, and I feel like I'll be kind of putting myself first again. And I, I don't want to do that. I, I enjoy being there for them, you know, every step of the way. In Seattle, Chris Egan, King 5 Sports.